about a year ago, we contacted Habitat for Humanity knowing that this football game was gonna be in this community against Penn State, and we wanted to make sure that UCF left a lasting impression. So we're working on a project in Croke Park, which is the community where the football game will be held. Lights Out Borders was uh, started in 2013. It's a group of student athletes who want to make a change, a long-lasting change. My name is Leonie Hamill. I'm on the UCF women's rowing team and I'm originally from Cork in Ireland. We wanted to have a long-lasting effect in this community. We didn't want it just to be about the game. We wanted to take something really, really good out of this too and so that we'll be remembered for doing great things as well, not just good footballers and good athletes. As you can see here, this is a community hall in inner Dublin City, a very working class area with some difficulties and social problems. And to give a community a hall like this back is fantastic. When you grow up in a tough community or a, t a tough background, it's easy to fall into the same ways and follow in other people's steps and maybe this might give these kids a chance to succeed in different parts of life that they might have not had access to before. Um, as soon as we got here, you know, the, the coordinator um, talked to us about what we're going to do, talked about the safety rules. Um, I've, I've been primarily painting a whole lot and then doing some um, just like caulking and replacing up some walls. I ripped down some mirrors, which was fun. It was a little bit of a stress reliever. So just a, a bunch of different things and just pretty much doing what's asked and um, just having a lot of fun with it too. Sanding and painting are probably one of the main uh, two jobs that people have to do, which are pretty rewarding. Scraping off goo, there, there's little to no reward because <laughs> it takes forever. It's the little things that matter to most people, and I feel like this is like one of those things. It's not in the middle of a, like a busy street or anything. It's just off a little side street, and because they say they use this day in and day out, seven days a week. When the scaffolds got here, I was outside and they asked me to help. Um, he handed me the instructions and so I learned how to build them. And um, that was actually something I found interesting because I used to be an engineering major and so stuff like that kind of interests me. Um, and so building it was kind of like a fun project and then he asked me if I wanted to go up there and do some work up there. And at first it was a little scary but um, I got used to it and it's been fun. The student athletes get so busy throughout the year with their sport, with school, with all the extra things that they're doing. Um, and so this gives them a chance to kind of get out of that element and, and be in a new place, learn a new culture, and really um, give back. And having that feeling when you come back that, that you spent a whole week doing something that has nothing to do with yourself and is just an experience that they'll never forget. This has been a great week. Uh, the students from UCF, the Knights Without Borders, have been fantastic to work with. They jumped right into the project as soon as they arrived here on the Tuesday morning and have given nothing but 100% every day. They've put in so much effort. It was a completely new experience for the other student athletes. Um, it was a new country, a new culture. So it was nice for me to be comfortable in my own culture and my own country and to kind of help them help them along the way. The students have thought that it was, I think, they, they've had a great time. They have embraced the community. We are able to walk from Trinity College, which is where we're staying, to the work site every day. So we really have had the opportunity to soak in the culture and have our student athletes see something other than the things that they see every day in Orlando. This trip has actually really changed my perspective on a few things. Coming on this trip, I've realized how much I enjoy this sort of work, and therefore I've been looking into outlets to impact the community back in Orlando. So to see us impact their lives, you know, has really impacted my life. Having my fellow athletes come to my home country, Ireland, was really, really spectacular. Having their support and their friendships really makes me proud to be a part of this community here at University of Central Florida.